Welcome to another class with Ming. Today we talk about composite functions and here are our learning targets. So you must be able to combine functions and combined functions are called composite functions in mathematics and you should be able to identify the domain and range of a composite functions. All right, you can think of functions as a machine. So we can think of here, we have two particular functions function f and a function g. So what we can do is that let us allow an input x to go into the machine f. Here the output will be f of x and this is read as f of x. And this output of machine f is acceptable as the input of machine g and we get another output. This times is going to be g big bracket f of x. See, so this is g of whatever that go inside, g of the input, and the input here is f of x. So this is read as g of f of x. All right. So this is what we call a composite function. So composite function can be written as g f of x like that or g compose f of x. All right. And it can also be written sometimes as this with a dot f of x. But in the IB examination, this is the preferred representation of composition. And uh, so for composition, the reading direction is to from the right to the left, as in Arabic or Hebrew. So your x goes in first, so this is read as first f, then g, right? First f, then g. So here's a composite function. So here I have four diagrams, right? Four mapping diagrams where and you have to decide maybe pause the video and decide which of these will allow you to have a composite function welcome back so obviously these doesn't because the domain the range of f is not even part of the domain of g that means the output of f is not acceptable into g so in this case the composition does not exist so in this case of uh, g of f of x does not exist. Well, in this case, sum of f, sum of the output of f is acceptable as the input of g, but also some of them are not acceptable. So in mathematics, in this case, we also consider this to be the composition of g of f does not exist. So what exists means is that the range of f must be completely inside the domain of g, one case, or the range of f and the domain of g have the same size. So for a composition g of f of x to exist, we need to have the range of s range of f to be a subset of the domain of g so either they're same size or the range of f is smaller than the domain of g